Welcome, everyone, to the last decently tolerable Simpsons video game ever made. The Simpsons game. Released in, in 2007 to coincide with the movie, Simpsons game was seen on the PS2, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the DS, the Wii, and the PSP. This is the last possible Simpsons game to be seen on a disc. And this is the first Simpsons game to be seen play on a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, DS, and PSP. However, this is going this would be the last Simpsons game to be seen on a place seen on the PS2. And the last disc-based Simpsons game I've seen in well, forever. Here's how things are going to work. Alright. We're going to be uh, going for 100%, but however, we'll mainly be going for trophies for the cliches and uh, character specific stuff. So, like, you know, Homer's bottle, beer caps, um, Bart's crusty, what, whatchamacallit, Malibu Stacy stuff for Lisa, and uh, coupons for Marge. I give to you the Simpsons game. So since my dad bought this, since I found, since this game came off Amazon, I don't have like a manual I can read through controls, so I'll probably just go over like basic action stuff. So X is your jump button, circle is your basic attack, which is Homer's burp, square is your punching mechanic, which is so far as a jab cross, and select brings up your to-do list. Follow the white rabbit through the village. As you can probably tell, this isn't ba really based on the movie as its own, you know, general plot. Um, basically, it kind of has its own plot where it makes fun of every video game ever made, as Simpsons video games have done in the past. Example being, Simpsons Road Rage made fun of Crazy Taxi in 2001. Simpsons Skateboarding, as much as it sucked made fun of uh, Tony Hawk's American Waste, Tony Hawk in 2002, and uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. The Simpsons Hit and Run made fun of uh, Grand Theft Auto, and this game made fun of every possible video game ever made. Medal of Honor, Final Fantasy, Batman, And uh, probably something I haven't really mentioned. Originally, if you watched Did You Know Gaming and you know Simpsons really have video games. Um, oh, and if you hold circle, you can uh, do a power burn.
Anyways, um, probably something I didn't really get a chance to say before I got mildly interrupted with that tutorial. Um, if you watched Did, Did You Know Gaming and their episode on Simpsons video games, um, apparently in Simpsons Hit and Run, which is not one of my favorite favorite video games ever, um, Uh, shit. Um, apparently in Simpsons Hit and Run, there was going to be a chocolate-based mission. In fact, this game actually contains uh, music from that level, if uh, that level is confirmed. And we found a Duff bottle cap. We can find these in each episode to unlock trophies and collect trophies to increase our power meter. Which right now it isn't really, you know, worth anything to mention. Um, rooftop parkour. And um, as made many other Simpsons games, they are not afraid to break the fourth wall or roast each other. You know, it says you know use the burp and stuff. This. Powerful enough on its own, fam. To just blow through it all on your own. Alright. So, um. Power burp. Oh my god. Should not have had that much chocolate. So, Aaron's gonna bounce up here, get another bottle cap. No, uh, yeah. One thing you'll probably notice in this game, the camera is very annoying. It's almost as annoying as Crash to Insanity, in a way. <laughs> no, Homer. It's full of diabetes. It's full of diabetes, Homer. Did they did that rabbit just make a suck my dick joke? Homer just made a suck my dick joke. So I'll probably explain the controls in a kind of a later detail. I mean, if you own the PS2 version, some of it's actually pretty similar. So I'll probably just look at the PS2 manual that I downloaded on my phone. You know, for controls and stuff like that. And you... Oh, yeah. Press triangles to activate things. And look at that. More stuff to get... To give me... Make my sweet tooth, tooth you know, have diabetes. Alright. You remember that scene in uh, Sponge Out of Water where Plankton goes into SpongeBob's brain and he basically sees uh, just a land of, you know, pure happiness and sweetness and crap? Yeah, I think that's what that scene. This is what probably inspired that scene, I think. I mean, look at this. Oi. Just watching it free gives me a damn headache. Um, yeah. No, this place is full of diabetes that you're walking on. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm even getting a slight headache just from looking at this. Grind up the pole, grind down the pole. Po po. Alright. So. I think that's what this scene was inspired from. That scene was in Sponge Out of Water. Anyways, we finally reached the top of. Haha! <laughs> I've never seen anyone wet their pants while jumping! Diabetes Mountain with, uh. 
douchebag rabbit that we're going to kill. Ready to die, buddy? One hit. <laughs> Boy. So, R1 gives us armor ball. Which means if you get a roll around. In fact, some music in this game was actually used from. Uh, from uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, which is a mobile game that EA made that I used to have on my phone. And no, there will not be any playthroughs of that. <laughs> Sorry. But I really don't have the time to do playthroughs of that game. Anyways, a pretty quick level. be doing time challenges in this game because they're way too freaking hard to do. Face will try to go for all the collectibles and uh, cliches. If we miss collectibles, we'll probably go and uh, you know off camera. And uh, explain the controls in uh, further detail. Anyways. Alright, so. So, um. <laughs> anyways, here are the controls for base basically this game. If you have this version or the PS2 version. You can look at those because they are pretty similar. Um, so basically, R one L one, which is what we use for when we get to like later games, so like you know, Medal of Palmer, pretty much. You can uh, release release the hold L one, and uh, in fact, that will be used in a later episode level, Bartman Begins. Um, the D-pad is actually used for something, is uh, using your fam switching families. Um, the left stick, unlike most platformers on PS2, is used to move around. Um, to move the camera, the camera does not move on its own, which really pisses me off, to be honest. Um, click, and to center the camera, is uh, click the R3 button. Um, yeah, and then X is your jump, circle is your charge attack, square is your basic uh, haymaker, and triangle is basically interactive stuff and s select those things to do. Anyways, Homer's controls, Homer ball. To turn on your homer ball, it's pretty simple. Just press R1. To dash, press the square, square button and do the homer slam. Press the X button and the square button. Bart is actually pretty simple when he, you know, isn't Bartman. To uh, use the slingshot, you press uh, circle. Um, then your target basically to aim you can press L1 to do a cape glide jump and press R1 to fire fire your grappling hook which will probably come in uh, later press triangle move forward you move the left stick forward to turn around on wires left or move left or right to drop down move the left stick down and then jump left or right on the left stick plus the X button Anyways, so if you own the PS2 
2 version, or if you're like me and own the PS2, PS3 version, but lost the manual, or lost the manual, um, do pay, pay attention to that, these parts, so, ah, oh, crap, can't destroy those. I thought those were, like, boxes. Oh, crusty coupons. Th that's what those are called. Crusty coupons. I, Sorry, I just wasn't sure. And, uh, uh like other games I've done that are, that are platform-based, so, like, uh, Shark Tale, Wrath the Cortex come to mind. Um, I will save a practice file. I actually will save a practice file here so we can, you know, get through levels. And look, EA's EA's big brother, they actually had to shoehorn their product into their their Madden product into their game. Which by the way we will make fun of in a later episode later in fact EA makes fun of itself in a later episode. But the nice thing about, you know, the camera moving left and right is you move you can actually click the R3 stick, R3 button, you know, move around. Just not have the camera bippity bopping all over the place. Anyways, cutscene time. Hey, Bone Storm. Hey, Mr. Vesky, can I make a puberty joke in this? Gamer problems, dude. Literally, same, fam. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll probably complete part of this as we go. Um, as we buff me to the second episode of this game. Uh, maybe don't tell your mom about the cave and the swimsuit magazine. The beds are okay, though. <laughs> Alright. We gotta find the temple. Which is straight ahead. One thing you'll probably notice is... This game does not give a damn about breaking the fourth wall. I thank you. All right. Just bust through crates and stuff like that. Get some stuff up. All right. Gonna be uh, breaking that crate here. All right, we found the t the temple. Now we gotta cross the chasm. This would be pretty simple to do in co-op when you think about it. Actually, know what? Price switch out of ho out to Homer here. You're gonna put him on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
immature little tweens playing this this game just be like, I see booby. Oh my god, literally. I could make several booby jokes right now. Bouncing on an NTDC. Well, um, Homer knows what I'm talking about. Boobs! Alright. Sure, buddy. Sure you did. Come on, let's get out of here. Find a situation where my new Just like Nelson making loose. huckleberries. Wait, maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the dark adventure of the night. Alright. Now we just gotta climb up this wall. And apparently only Bart can climb. Bart, it's not polite to walk on the wall. Look at them all fingerprinting. Sure, buddy. Sure, Homer. I'm gonna hold my breath. You come. How long was that? Well, we got the first collectible of this game. Kick this down. Uh, yeah, actually. Okay. Hey, Bartman! You ever get the devil in the pale moonlight? I bet not. Sure, buddy. Sure. In a way, dude, Bart is actually more relatable than most role models of today's generation, alright? <laughs> Climb to the top here. Isn't it amazing that we all evolved from the stuff in this room? Yes, it is, mister. Yes, it is, Homer. <laughs> There's some bacon grease. Okay. Alrighty now. Hey, if those bones, Lander said God planted in the ground a cool up. Crap. She probably not waited, you know, done that whole running start get up. I probably shouldn't have done that running start. <laughs> we should always give thanks to Van Helsing for killing all the dinosaurs. Oh sure, just like you know how many people Prefer Amy Schumer as a politician. Thanks, Homer. Blame an old movie. Blame an old movie about dead dinosaurs. Sure, Homer. Maybe you could probably blend in with the college students of today that don't know about politics. So, typically, on average, in this Let's Play, you should probably expect most of these episodes to be around 30 minutes or so you know what what I expect drop in bah die boy crap 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 barking right up drafts bye Oh crap. I gotta save Homer. Shit. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not caused by you. You can't hide behind that glass here forever. 
All right, sure. All right. Well, Homer got KO'd. And by KO'd, I mean literally KO'd. Alrighty. Drop down. Hop up these uh, trees. Uh, yes, Jimbo. Yes. Well, this episode's probably going to be more uh, about in the range of 30 minutes, well, 33 minutes on average once we get through the more tricky part with layers, the people here. Alright, if you guys um, have enjoyed part one of the Simpsons game, why not give it a like, throw some comments, click that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, add me on social media, and uh, above all, hope you guys have a good day. And remember, summer's almost here.